Hello, welcome to an episode of Bear Man the Handyman. Today I want to talk to you about a problem that I'm having in my own house. This house was built about eight years ago and in the master bathroom we're having an issue where a couple of times a week we have a septic smell that's coming from the bathroom. So in the morning, especially happens in the morning, when we walk into the bathroom we have this very strong septic odor. On some mornings it's just a musty smell but most of the time it has that distinct smell of kind of septic. And um, after a lot of working on this problem, we hired a professional plumber to come out. He looked at it. He showed us or told us that there was an issue with the depth of the drain trap in the shower underneath the house. And in a little while, I'll show you in the later part of this video, you'll see that that repair, what I did there, and that did not work. That did not actually change the problem at all. Um, so what, what we eventually did was I did a lot of research on this and I found out that the problem was related to how the venting worked in the system and the fact that the vent, the air vent, was connected to the wrong side of the drain trap. So I want to take you downstairs and show you what a before and after and show you a little bit about what I did to fix this problem and hopefully it helps. You can see it's an insert type shower, a fiberglass insert. And this is where the odor was coming from. So if we open up the handle, uh, again, just a pretty standard fiberglass insert, but the odor specifically was coming right here directly from the drain in the shower. And again, it was really bad, especially in the mornings. So uh, let's go downstairs and then let me take a look and show you what I did to fix this problem. As you just saw in the before picture, what you could see in that photo, and I'm going to start with where the drain, where we just ended up in the video above, right up there, this is my shower pan floor where the pipe was coming down. And in the picture that you saw right here was my vent pipe that came off, originally came all the way out of here and went on. And I'll show you later on where that connected to the other venting for the rest of the house but that came down through here and down into the trap. This is the trap that I did end up extending. I added this piece here just to make the trap a little bit, the dip lower, originally thinking that that would fix the problem, which it did not, obviously it didn't cause any problems. And I elected to, I elected to hard fit this um, by actually gluing these cements rather than putting the twist on like you would see underneath the sink. Uh, a sink because it was very easy access with the shower floor being right there. If I have any problems with needing to get this unclogged, I can easily um, run something down in there to get this, this drain clogged up. So, and here's what, I, here's what I just finished up doing. So what I ended up having before is I came out of here with just a regular 90 degree elbow. And what I have done here is I've come in and here's where the paint originally came through here and then went to the rest and connected to the main drain line. So I elected to put a T here. And so here's the drain, it's coming down. I'm draining through, I've capped off the original vent line so that now there's no air coming in prior to the drain trap. And this is the heart of what the problem was, is that my air vent or the uh, shower drain was right above this. This connected directly to the air venting system for the septic, so the air, and as you follow this down, here was the drain trap, which the water always stays in a trap. So the purpose of a trap is to have water in here and it creates a seal so that these gases are not able to make it back into your house. And because my vent pipe was located above that and next to the drain, the venting, the air was able to vent directly up into the drain pipe of the of the shower and we were able to smell those fumes directly from the septic system so i now have that capped off and i've come here and created this uh, so this is where we started i added this t so now my t comes up i had to put a couple of elbows in here and get it and i put an extension and so now this is the air venting system and then you can see where that vent pipe goes over and this is the floor that goes up and goes directly into the attic. I will show you that in just a minute. So essentially what I've done now is the air venting system is located on the opposite side of the drain trap and it is now working as it properly should. So that, 
And the purpose of this is so that when you flush a toilet in the house, the amount of water that goes down these pipes can sometimes create a vacuum. And that vacuum, if you do not have venting on the proper side of the drain trap, it can actually create a vacuum that pulls some of the water out of the drain trap and eventually sucks it down into the drain system. And so if the level of water gets to the point that it is below this elbow right here where there's no longer, it's no longer full, then you can get air seepage through here. So that's the whole purpose of a drain trap. And that's also the purpose of having proper venting and having it vented on the correct side of the drain trap. So I wanna show you really quick some of the tools that it will take to do this, very simple. Uh, this is all that I needed to finish the job. Um, at a hacksaw, uh, I used Oatly Purple Primer and I used all-purpose cement and I just used a medium grit uh, 188, 180 sandpaper. That is just to clean the edges once you cut the PVC pipe. And then the only other thing you need is the, is the PVC connections. I picked this, this entire project cost me about $20 at um, Lowe's. So now I'm gonna take you upstairs. I wanna show you how that vent, which is this line right here, I wanna show you how that connects into the attic. Okay, so here we are in the attic and you can see this is where, this is that exact drain line that I showed you coming through uh, out of the basement. And now I'm up three stories all the way into the roof of the attic. The pipe comes in and then what you can see, and hopefully I can show this to you, is it makes its way back through this section here and it ends up connecting on these connectors right over here. It goes right into that junction. And then this is the main line, the main venting system line for the rest of the house. And so this is when I realized that if it connects to this line and this line, every drain that I have, every toilet ends up connecting to this. And then this gets vented up right here. You can barely see it. That goes up and comes out the roof. So on every house, you'll see these vents that come out. So this one's designed exactly like it's intended to be. But because of the fact that it was connected to other... Now, if this line right here had come up and went straight through the roof of the house and was just a straight vent and not connected to the rest of the system, I would not have had an issue with smelling septic gas. But because it connects to other ones that do vent properly on the correct side, which is the septic side, I am smelling gas in the house. So by switching that to the other side of the vent, uh, of the drain trap, I've taken care of that problem. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps and I hope it helps you solve your problem.